Hello, this is Brian Mull from November Learning, and recently we received an email from Fran Stromsland of New Jersey, and she was asking about a map that Alan showed during one of his sessions that demonstrated the future effects of sea level rise, and she was wondering how she could get some of these same overlays and use them inside of Google Maps. So I wanted to put together a quick tutorial to demonstrate that for you. Um, you may have used Google Maps before. It's found at maps.google.com. And you may have used it for getting driving directions or finding the location of a business um, or a friend's house. But if you haven't used it with a Google login account, then you haven't gotten the full power of what it has to offer. You can see up at the top that I am logged in because my email address is here. And the place that I go to create that account is, I, is just visit google.com, fill out a form, and you'll get your account all set up. Once you do that, come back to maps.google.com and you'll be able to click on this new My Maps feature that you'll have with your account. And then you'll see maps that you've created, maps that others have created and shared with you, and some other featured content. Um, really quickly, I'll show you a sample student map that was built inside of Google Maps to show you a little bit of what you can do with this software. And by the way, while this is loading, this is free to use. Okay, so this is a caravan project that some students put together. And this was a journey that students were theoretically taking across Africa, and they were keeping diary entries on the way. So if I click on one of these envelopes, you'll see one of the entries that these students wrote, complete with links to Flickr, to YouTube, and other places around the internet. So I'm going to go ahead and close that up because we're not going to focus too much on building maps today. Perhaps we can do that in a future video. But what I want to show you are the overlays. And the overlays you can get also under My Maps by clicking on Browse the Directory. And Browse the Directory brings up all of these different overlays and they have many, many, many of these. Um, you can certainly search for them and click on search Google Maps content, but I happen to know that the sea level rise overlay that I'm looking for is on the second page, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And scroll down a little bit. And here's my sea level rise overlay. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the link for sea level rise so I can learn a little bit more of what it's about, see what it looks like. And then if I decide I want it, I simply click on add it to maps. Once it's added, I go back to Google Maps. I'll, okay, sometimes you have to click on My Maps again, but this time it loaded on its own. And you can see now that I have this new sea level rise area. And if I scroll down, it's listed under Created by Others and it has a check mark. If I uncheck it, it goes away. So I'm going to go ahead and check it and bring it back. And I live just outside of New Orleans, so I'm going to zoom in on my location. And I can set a range of measurements here. I'm going to say that if sea level rises, and I'm going to go to the metric system here. If sea level rises three meet, or 10 meters, I want that to show in red the effects of 5 meters in orange and I'll keep the effects of 3 meters of sea level rise in yellow and I can click on go and you'll see that now my map highlights um, those different areas that I've predefined I can log in further if I want to see the particular area where I live and I live right here where I-10, I-12, and this is I-59 up here where they all intersect. I live in Slidell, so I want to see the effects in this area. So I'll keep all my thresholds the same and click Go. And it will load up the effects in that area so I can see much better um, what the effects of sea level rise will be in my area. So that's about it for now. If you have any overlays that you find that are useful, please share them with us and know that resources like this and many other resources are available for you to use and obtain at novemberlearning.com.